first let me start this video by saying a big thank you to everyone from Bangladesh watching my videos and commenting on my videos. Your support has been amazing. And now let's go to see let It's a small place with a few but very modern buses. Three hours later, a 30 minute breakfast break. Here is the traffic going out of Dhaka. So here is why it takes so long to get anywhere. from Silet. I'm going to the train station to buy a train ticket to my next destination because I couldn't buy the ticket online. Here we are approaching a bridge that goes across the river which divides the city into two parts. It looks like it looks like cars aren't allowed on this bridge. I see only tuk-tuks, motorbikes and and bicycle rickshaws. Down there you can see the river dividing this city into two parts. Oh, I think I see the clock tower that the same clock tower that I saw in uh, Gabriel Traveler's YouTube videos. As you can see, the city is not like very quiet, so don't set your expectations too high regarding the quietness and the uh, it being not so busy and also cleanliness. My experience actually very similar to Dhaka, only smaller. So there are some times and also some places where the traffic is more quiet, where it's more peaceful. But uh, 
it's it's similar I would say just smaller because there are only one million people living in Silet but the city is growing around uh, four or five percent a year so in a few years it will be a very busy place now let's look where we can get the train ticket I want the train for tomorrow This is the station. Got my train ticket to Sri Mangal. Tomorrow, 10 o'clock, 207 Dhaka. This place is halfway between Silet and Dhaka and I'm going there tomorrow but now now I want to find transportation to one of the most popular places near Silet the Swamp Forest Now it now we decide which driver takes me This eh? Yes Okay 1000 200, 200. Taka. Taka. One, okay. One okay, it's a very good price. Your country is? My country is Latvia. Eh? Latvia. Latvia? Yeah. In Europe. <laughs> Crossing the same bridge again. By the way, yesterday it was raining, so the air is a little bit more fresh today. It's a nice change after the dry and dusty air of Dhaka. And also Silet, just a day earlier. The place is some 20 kilometers out of the city, so it will take me some time to get there. More or less an hour, I think one way those are tea plantations on both sides of the road Now we find out how much it costs. We to go to yeah, okay. here is the boat. And now I go on a boat ride. Yeah, okay, okay. Now I'll go, to, go on a boat ride into this swamp forest. Um, it's a very unique place, a mangrove forest, but it's inland. Usually mangroves are uh, on the coastline, but this place is inland and Let's see what it's like. It's one of the most popular places oh, in this area. Uh, as far as I know, the best time to go here is during the monsoon season, but I cannot go in the monsoon season because... I'm here now during the dry season. So let's see what it's like during the dry season, this mangrove forest. Sorry, 
Speaking of the tea plantations that we saw on the way, people have been growing tea hello. in these. Hello, hello. People have been growing tea in these areas for almost 200 years. It is so quiet and peaceful here. It was a very good idea to come here now on Thursday, not tomorrow on Friday, which is a holiday in Bangladesh. Because on Fridays I, I think this place gets packed. It's one of the most popular places near Silet. Uh, during the monsoon it's uh, more uh, water, yeah? Water. It's very hard for me to imagine what it's like during the monsoon when they say that the water level is much higher. You said it's how high? How high is the water during the monsoon? Two, three feet. Two, three feet more? More. Two, three feet, that's uh, almost one meter more. Imagine all this and add one meter of water more. It almost feels like during this um, one week in Bangladesh I had already forgotten what it's like when, the, when there is no constant honking, no constant beep 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 because even in Silet the traffic is very loud. And now this A photo shoot happening here. Photographer. A boat full of ladies who want nice photos. And now here we disembark and go on a walk. And someone's singing in the forest. Look at these trees. I think that's the most amazing part about going to this place that you can finally find some peace and also greenness. I was actually skeptical. I thought it's gonna be more dry right now, but it's nice. It's actually very nice. During the rainy season, I imagine it may all be covered with water. And you may be able to go inside, like have more places where you can go with a boat, like all this big area here. For the boat, I paid almost 2,500, more than I expected. At the same time, I'm paying half of what I was expecting to pay for them tuk tuk, so it's okay. People like to sing when they come to this forest. Hey. I am back in the city, back in Silet, looking for some quieter place to share my final thoughts on this place and uh, I'm struggling at that because this place is busy. Uh, so the forest, yes, it's very, very beautiful. I can imagine that during the rainy season it gets magical when the area covered with water is even bigger and you can go further in and uh, I wouldn't go there on a Friday. I can imagine this place gets packed very easily because it's, it's not that big. The waterways, they are not that big. But, 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 
one but uh, speaking of the pricing I realized it only now but uh, I think I was charged too much I don't know maybe that's the normal price but I have a feeling that I was charged too much if the doctor cried for two hours costs half of that even less it feels like the boat ride was too expensive 40 minutes or 20 something euros because I was also asked for a tip that's uh, 30 euros 35 dollars for one hour of a boat ride that sounds like something you would expect in Western Europe or in Singapore sounds too much okay yeah but the place is really beautiful and the city is really loud so I'm going to finish the video now I might be going and exploring the city of Silet more and uh, making another video but yeah that will be another video see you soon most likely still from Silet from Bangladesh definitely